So we're going to do stable dent today. What is stable dent? I'm going to put a picture up here. This is an appliance that you put on your lower denture to help it stabilize more. That That's what it does. We took a poll over in our Facebook group. And if you're not in the Facebook group, why not? Because it's just nice over there. Everybody's loving and kind and everything. So anyway, this stable dent. I'm being very careful with it because I already broke the packaging. I showed everybody a picture of it. I said, do you want me to do it or not? Okay, the consensus was yes, but don't do it if it's too tedious. This is going to be tedious. I believe there's 20 steps for each side. So that's a total of 40 steps. Hang in there with me. We're going to do this. So This is something that's going to sit on your on your denture on on the outsides. And what it is not is a soft reline. They say that you need to have a good fitting lower denture. I think there's leaves falling behind me. You need to have a good fitting lower denture for this to work. So they recommend that you get a soft reline if your denture doesn't fit good. This denture fits me really, really well. This is a copy of my new denture from DentureBox. So I know this fits me. So I don't need a soft reline in my denture. Yeah. So I opened this yesterday and saw it. The packaging already broke because I don't, I, I can't reclose it because of this bottle. So there's that. So in this comes this, this little dropper thing. This, this right here, which I kind of know what that is. Here is the actual stable. Here it is right here. And here's my hand. And can you see those two tiny little pieces? And no, nope, there, there. Okay. One for each side. We're going to be gluing them on my lower denture. That's what we're doing. I don't know what this is yet. We're going to figure it out together. It comes with two sandpapers because you need to sand your denture. A putt-putt pencil. That's what I call these. You know, when you go putt-putting, you have a putt-putt pencil. And then the directions. There's directions here. And they say read the directions in full before you start this process. So here are the front steps. And then you turn it over and there are more steps on the back. I watched a video. They have a video on their YouTube channel doing this and we're just going to go for it. I'm going to be watching this video and following along this video. I won't put you through that. We're just going to get my denture done and we're just going to do it. So, so here we go. I think it's important to note here that they do have some warnings. Um, don't use this near an open flame. It contains methyl methacrylates in denture monomer. So if you're allergic to those, don't use these. So this does not affect the fit of your denture. This isn't going to have anything to do with the fit of your denture. Like I said, just the stability of it. That would, that would mean the rocking. All right. It says to start by sanding this lower enter, enter, denture area of the cheese, of the denture, right in through here with this coarse sandpaper. And then we're gonna follow it up with the fine sandpaper. But we wanna make a, a surface that this is gonna stick to. That, that's our plan. So there's that, I guess. Let me, let me do it better. And then it says to come in with the fine sandpaper and do it. So we'll do that. Well, first of all, you had to wash and dry your denture. We did that already. We did that before we started the video. Okay, so there's that. So now we're going to have this. I, I know with other products that I've used, don't touch your fingers to that surface. Don't You don't want to get oily on there because you don't want anything to make that from not stick. Okay, it says draw a line at the middle of the last tooth. So that would be, can you see what I'm doing maybe? Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, there's our line. There's our line. There, there, there's our line. So we have that. So, okay, moving on. All right, now we're gonna examine these stabilizers. We need the R for the right and the L for the left. So we're gonna we're gonna do this together. Arts and crafts with dentures. That's what we like to do around here. I can see the R and the L. Can I get them out of the package? Am I, oh, there we go. So the, here's the R, 
it says on there are you're not going to see that so i'm not I'm even going to show you so here's the l which one are we working on we're working on the l so we need the l one all right well forget putting my fingers all over this because i guess you have to so we want to take this tiny little thing right here can you even see the tiny little thing and we're going to put this it has to line up against here like it has to, oh my gosh it has to line up like this this is going to be quite difficult i can already tell you so it's got to line up like that but i'm having a feeling that it has to be toward the bottom of the denture that would only make sense right yeah i would think okay so now that we line that up let's move on well it's not lined up but we're gonna we're gonna do that though let's move on okay we want to get this as low as possible to the bottom of our our acrylic there the bottom the base of the denture but now it says to look and see you you don't want any space in between the i don't think there is any and if you have space in between that oh geez it's gonna fall off if you have space in between that little piece in your denture it tells you to file oh, see it fell off the stabilizer so we would want to file this tiny little piece if it wasn't flush up against the denture mine's flush okay so now it's telling me to get this is wax evidently um we have to put a piece of wax on the back of that stabilizer to hold it and if the stable dent company is watching me let me just say that you're dealing with a lot of older people that have dentures and arthritis and everything else this packaging is way too small for me and i don't have arthritis in my hands or any problems and now this has to come out of here so i would say this is a problem other than me sticking this pencil up there to get this out of here so this packaging needs something needs to be done about this because it's just not working i need a knife hold on all right so i'm gonna get one piece out all right so that's where it needs to be i believe so now i'm gonna try to stick this wax to the back and have it hold it okay without moving it we're gonna do this without moving it. nope we moved it okay so how about if i stick this to the wax and we'll go that route with it because just sticking that wax just isn't isn't working y'all see me struggling doing this now i can't really see if it's we're just gonna wing it we're winging this at this point so i want to put it right i have to do this to the other side yet okay we're gonna put it right there and the wax is going to come up with this finger if I don't hold that down. Okay, got it. Got it. So I need to move this down just a hair bit. Oh, let's do it with this knife. Okay, that's where that that is where it's staying. I'm not touching it. I'm not gonna touch it. Now I have to put two drops of this onto here. And this it's supposed to oh please hold that i don't want to mess with you again so we're going to do two drops of this liquid and then fill it just with some of this that that's what we're doing next so we're going to do two drops and it has to be right along that line and what let me see if i can two drops i don't need two you're gonna have to trust me that the two drops are gonna go there. Okay, they're there. And then we're gonna do some, it just says some of this. So it fills up here. This is what it looks, oh good jeez. That's what it looks like now. Am I shaking? Probably I am now. Jeez, oh man. So this needs to sit on a flat surface for 20 minutes while this hardens and it actually shows the teeth side up so um yeah you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it on here just in case so i'm gonna leave this sit here 
for 20 minutes to harden up and I'll be right back and I'm gonna cap all this stuff. Okay, we are back. Now it says to remove this piece of wax from the back of your denture, which I just did. So we're gonna repeat what we just did here. We are gonna repeat it to right there and we are gonna wait another 20 minutes. So let's do this. Okay, so we wanna do the two drops and then put the powder in. Apologize for my arm being in this all the time, but we we're low budget. We are low budget here. So we need two drops of this. Okay, one, two. And then we're gonna put some more powder on this because we want the powder. It's, it smells. It smells like when you go get your nails done, I guess. That kind of reminds me. So we're gonna put some, just go over here. Just a little bit. And we're gonna let that sit for 20 minutes. And it's in the trough of my denture. And I don't really. I hope it comes out of there easily. We're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and then we're gonna, I'm going to repeat on the other side. You're not gonna to have to watch me. And when you see me come back, they're both gonna be on there. All right, we are, we are back at this. I've got both pieces on here. The denture had to sit for an hour. Now, I can already tell you, here's my mark. Let me make sure I have you. Here's my pencil mark. And that's straight to there. So I'm close. I'm close to where it should be there. But this was very hard to put in place. Let's look at the other side. Here's my pencil mark. Same thing. I'm a little closer on that side. Now, it says to, if there's any rough edges or anything, to file this down. And it looks like this side is up a little bit too high. I don't know you guys you saw me try to do this but I'm gonna I'm gonna file this roughness down and just to see no you know what I'm gonna go wash it I'll go wash it really good and then I'll you'll see my face okay so we're back okay so this is what we have now this is just my test enter you know I have I have some test dentures from Denture Box, so that's what this is. But if there, you, there you could see it. Can you see it there? There's that side, and there's that side, and here's this side. Can you see that? It's on there. It looks like I don't know. I rinsed it off. Let me. Well. It created a fullness, I can tell you that. I don't really know if I needed that stability that it's, because my denture fits really good and they said you needed a good fitting denture. So it did that. If it did anything, if it did anything, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, my tongue muscles are not gonna pop this up. Uh-uh. If I put my tongue on it, uh, under it, I could pop it up. Uh. But that's an intentional, that's not a, just a plain movement of my tongue, a voluntary movement, involuntary, involuntary movement of my tongue. That was a voluntary movement. So would this be worth trying? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to give this a go ahead, but here's the thing. If, if you're too afraid to do this yourself and you don't think you're going to get it lined up the greatest, if you're like my age or a little older, how many of your kids do it? Show your kids the video. There's got to be somebody in your family that's really crafty and, and you can just say, hey, I want you to do this with my dentures. I'm sorry if it grosses you out, but I need help. I don't know. But it's not bad. And my dentures weren't rocking to start with. So, and that's another thing that I'm a little bit confused on because if you have a really solid, good fitting denture, it's not going to rock. And if they want you to get a soft reline before you do this, because they want you to do that, your denture isn't going to rock. 
I'm gonna, I, I don't think, what do I, what do I know? What do I know? I'm just, a, I'm a retired school bus driver that does YouTube videos on ventures now and reviews products and all the things. Let me, you know what? I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get somebody else's opinion in, and I'm going to come right back to you because I would like a dental professional's opinion, not the company, somebody else's, and I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, here's my consensus of this. I like this thing. I, I do like this thing. It adds fullness to my my lower okay it's gonna it adds some fullness and the rocking part your this denture isn't gonna rock that's what that's what I don't understand when you put a soft reline in a denture it's gonna fit you good and it shouldn't be rocking when you get it in your mouth it, it shouldn't be so this adds stability to it and it's called stable dent, right? So this adds a little bit more stability to what you already have. It's not jamming in my tongue. And if it did, I would I would file it down. And is this, I'm gonna put a link in my description and it, I'll put it in this in my Amazon store. I paid $41 for this thing. If you don't understand or know that it's like, oh my gosh, 20 steps to do all this, I don't want to do that, have somebody help you. Have somebody help you. Are the ingredients the best? I mean, it says, keep away from flames. Here's what I'm finding. Denture products, you need something to bond to this acrylic. And that is going to be products that might not be the healthiest. Hold on. That might not be products that are the healthiest or the safer for us. It also says wash it really good. So do that. Wash it really good. Wash it very, very good. Because just do that. So you don't want, you know, your blood brain barrier is close. Everything is close. Just wash it really good. And I would say try it. If you want to try it, if you want more stability to your denture, try it. That That's all I got. I, the, when I started out to do this, I'm like, okay, this is going to be a wacko thing. I, I can just tell you it is. It is not. By by no means is it just some out there far. It, it's just not. I, I like the thing. I do like the thing. It's several hours later, you can tell it's getting dark. I've had zero problem with these today unless I'm drinking from a straw. The only problem I'm having is drinking from a straw. I had a cup of coffee, didn't bother me. I ate, they didn't bother me. Just drinking from a straw. The tongue movement must be something different. So try them if you want. Maybe it'll be different for you. There is a 90 day guarantee on this, but listen to this. If you are not happy with the stabilizer, all you have to do is so send your lower denture to Stable Dent. We will first try to identify your specific issue by checking to be sure you have installed it correctly and if your denture is in need of an appropriate reline. If your issue cannot be resolved, we will remove the stabilizer and gladly refund your purchase. I'm not sure if I would want to send my lower denture to Stable Dent. That, that's the only thing. So, yeah, there you go. If you want to try it, try it. Get help. All right, I've said enough. I'm repeating myself now. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.